Okay, welcome everybody. So in this lesson, we are will talk about a popular topic nowadays because of coronavirus crisis here. The topic is keeping fit. So you know that no one wants to be fat. So let's learn what we can do to keep fit and stay healthy in this lesson. So we will read a passage and do some activities in this online lesson. Now, please take a piece of paper and pencil with you because we will need them in the lesson. Okay. Yeah, first of all, let me ask you some questions. So, what do you do to keep fit and healthy? And what do you do, when you don't know, you don't do, to keep fit and healthy? Now stop the video and think about these questions and write your ideas in your notebook here. Yes, here is a list of some ideas. The things we do to keep fit are doing sports, eating healthy food, sleeping regularly, etc. And we should avoid drinking alcohol, smoking, eating junk food such as hamburgers, candies and biscuits, etc. Stress, these are things we should avoid. So you can add more ideas here if you have one here. So keeping fit and staying healthy is very important, as you know. So let's learn some vocabulary related to our topic. Here you can see some phrases in the box. Take a piece of paper and pen and later draw two columns and write plus and write on the top just like this. Now stop the video and write down the phrases in the correct column. Yes, here are the answers. For example, we should do, or that's good for our health is, to going to exercise classes, as you see, eating fresh fruits and vegetables, taking vitamins, for example, vitamin C, D, and other ones, also running and relaxing. So these are good for our health, as you know. And also there are some negative things for our health, such as junk food, as you see hamburgers, potato chips and candies, etc. here. And also fizzy drinks, such as the ones here, as you see, Pepsi and other ones. And also stress, because some have very difficult jobs and they are in stress. So alcohol is another negative thing for our health and also caffeine here. So these photographs also helps you to understand the meaning of the words here. Okay, so the next thing we will do here before reading passages is to talk about some new sports to keep fit and stay healthy. Maybe you don't know these kinds of sports here. So I found some videos on YouTube here. So if you can click on it, so you can watch them. So if you cannot click, so you can find the similar videos on YouTube regarding to this one. So when you look, watch the video, you will learn what tower running is, what plugsing is, and what paddle boarding is here. Now stop the video and watch short videos about them on the internet and learn what kind of sports are they. So now you have watched the videos and I, now I have some questions for you. So which one of these sports is the most interesting one for you? Why? And which sports mm -hmm. You can write down your ideas or tell them to your sisters, brothers, or mothers, or fathers, etc. Yeah. And my second question is, which sport or sports do you like doing in your daily life? So if you, don't, if you want to learn about more sports, so you can look at page 156 photobank in your book for other types of sports here. Now you can also write down your ideas on a piece of paper and 
or discuss it with George, with people around you right now. Now we can start reading our passage on page 58 here. Now stop the video and read the text. So when you finish reading, write down your answers on a sheet of paper or in your notebook. Yes, here are the answers for the questions. So, why is tower running popular in Asian cities? As you see, the answer is because there are many skyscrapers, which means very tall buildings, in Asian cities here. They are very popular with the skyscrapers. So, you can see skyscrapers here. Also, in Istanbul, we have some very tall buildings called skyscrapers as well here. So, because of this, tower running is popular in Asian cities. So, the second question is, where did plug sync start? Which sports are similar to plug sync here? So, it started in the USA and it's similar to boxing, sorry I wrote it down wrong, and plates and dance. So, this is the combination of these sports as well here. So, and the last question is, when is the best time for paddle boarding? So, the answer is the best time for the sport is before the sunset. Sunset means in the evenings before the sun goes down and become dark here. So you can enjoy the photograph of the sunset here. So this is the answer for the question here. Okay, so now it's time to put what we learn in practice because we learn some new vocabularies and we learn some new information about the ways to keep healthy or fit here. Now, I want you to do some research on the internet and write a short paragraph about your favorite sport or an interesting, or an interesting sport such as extreme sports, bungee jumping, paragliding, etc. You can use the text on page 58 as models here. So I'm sure, uh, I hope you liked the uh, lesson here and you learned some new vocabulary and think about some ideas to keep fit and stay healthy in today's world. So we need them because we stay at home. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day.